We're visiting seven Pokemon centers in seven days all around Japan. I came to visit for the Pokemon World Championships in Yokohama, Japan, but while I was in town, I also stopped by the iconic cities of Osaka, Kyoto, and of course Tokyo to see what each Pokemon Center had to offer. We're also stopping by the Pokemon World Championships Pokemon Center in Yokohama at the end of the trip, and I'll be picking one lucky person from the comment section to win some exclusive World Championships merch, so stay tuned and enjoy the flight. Well, that was quick. We just landed, and we at the airport, there is literally a Pokemon vending machine. Yes. Look at you. Oh, okay. This is a special Pokemon Center airport vending machine that is in the Haneda airport and it's got exclusive Pilot Pikachu plush toys and luggage tags. So these are exclusive items that you can only get at the airport. Look at this little man. Oh my goodness. Wait, 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 wait. My goodness. Mascot Pilot Pikachu. Here it comes. Are you ready? <laughs> Oh, there are it children is. waiting. Okay. Oh, yeah. What's in it? What's in it? Oh, the children are delighted. Oh my goodness. This is the best day ever. Okay. Oh, he's my day's made. Yes, yeah, mine too. Look at this handsome little man. Oh, I love it so much. This is located in Terminal 2 of the Haneda Airport if you want to try to stop by on your next trip to Tokyo. We're on our way to Shibuya. Oh, we are in Shibuya. Shibuya Station, baby. We're making our way through Shibuya Crossing, one of the busiest intersections I have ever seen in my life. Wow. To go to Pokemon Center Shibuya. Oh my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> Influencers in the wild. Yeah. Each Pokemon Center store has its own theme, and this one is this absolutely incredible Mewtwo submerged in this glass tube. Look at all them bubbles. How cool. Oh my goodness. Yellow, sir. They have a crazy assortment of plushies, sleeves, stationery, figures, and you can even customize your own Pokemon shirts. <laughs> <laughs> They're so many. That's the most exciting. I'm straight up losing it. This is so cute. What is that? A nightlight? Yeah. What color? Oh, that's really cool. It's like a silhouette of the, the Pokemon. That's cool. Oh, wow. Those are beautiful with the flowers. So those arts appear on manhole covers around Japan, which is super cool. All right, look at this. There is a Mareep alarm clock. That is the cutest thing ever. Oh my God. I wish I had more room in my suitcase because I feel like I would buy this immediately. I need that. Where is he? Where is he? Oh, I love this so much. It's perfect. I don't know what this is, but I'm getting a stamp. Okay. Yeah. Looks like they all have a different food item in there. The art on all of these is so cute. They almost look like, these ones almost look like Takis. I'm not really sure what that is. I almost just snagged this item right here because I thought it was loose leaf tea, but I Google translated the label and it says that it's tuna mayonnaise sweet chips. <laughs> I cannot believe this. I'm so excited. I was looking for this everywhere. We have a Marie Duster. Look at this. I'm gonna be clean. I'm gonna be dusting everything in my home with Marie. So this is where I guess you can create a custom Pokemon shirt. I guess you just pick from one of their designs and then they create it. That's pretty cool. Oh my gosh. Wait, did you see these? Oh wait, is that a separate thing for your toe? Yeah, that's oh, that. hilarious. <laughs> the, uh, the tail. Yeah. The, the... <laughs> This place is absolutely packed. We're sitting in line right now. I'm like overwhelmed and I'm also really excited. Oh, dude, I've never been surrounded by so much Pokemon stuff. Oh my gosh, look at these blinged out phone cases. They're so shiny. Okay, they have a bunch of super cute like cups and glasses over here, but then a whole assortment of toothbrush holders. What is this? Oh, this is so precious. Look at this, this little Lapras can hold your toothbrush for you. Oh, I love it. Fun little Easter egg here. This is like the backside of the Pokemon Center, but you can see here Junichi Masuda signed Pikachu's tail. That's the original composer for a bunch of the Pokemon music they hear in the video games. 
That's so cool. So they're sold out of a bunch of their booster packs, but they do have some Ruler of the Black Flame packs, which are our Obsidian Flame packs. These just came out. Each Pokemon Center generally will have the same set of items, but there's definitely certain stores that have certain lines that other stores just didn't have in stock. I'll actually recap our Pokemon Center hauls at the end of today's video, so stick around to see all of the cool loot that we got throughout the whole trip, including the sick Pokemon Center bag from the World Championships. All right, here we go. I'm trying my luck right here. These are adorable pencil holders. Look at this one. I really want the Krabby one. I would not be upset if I got that Mimikyu one either, but these are all super cute. Okay, here I go. And, oh, I think it's Yamper. Look at the little baby. So you can set a little pen or pencil right on his little feet. Oh, that's so cute, I love it. My pen's gonna go right there on Yamper. That's gonna be so cute. <laughs> Next, we're heading to Sunshine City Mall to Pokemon Center Mega Tokyo. Look at the beautiful birds. Look at all of the birds. We're waiting outside the Pokemon Center. It's like 8 a.m. and they're not even officially open yet. That's right. We're here with the Pokemon Company and all of our, our friends, friends, yeah. media friends. Huge thank you to the Pokemon Company for giving us a tour of this Pokemon Center before it officially opened. They rented out a bus for the Pokemon Partners and Media to show us around Tokyo and I thought that was really awesome. Each Pokemon Center generally has its own theme with unique Pokemon representing it. The last store was Mewtwo and this store is Maridon. Oh my gorgeous, look at him. Oh, he's so soft. This is my new best friend. <laughs> oh, look at that binge of balls. We got Pokeballs, we got Ultra Balls. Nice. They're so fluffy! These little men. Oh my goodness, I'm getting so many sleeping ones. We got multiple different Karaidon plushes. I didn't know they made more kinds of those. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Oh, 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 he's perfect! Is it a towel? Looks like it. But it's got. How does it do? You... <laughs> we got some Japanese old maid cards. These are super cute. Definitely want to get one of these. This looks just like the Pikachu mascot. It's like the actual characters that they have dressed up as Pikachu. And it waddles and it speaks. That is so cute. It's nice to meet you. <laughs> it's also nice to meet you. You're coming home with me. This Pokemon Center has the Growlithe and Arcanine together on the same sticker. Are you kidding me? They had these on our Pokemon Center, on yeah. the US Pokemon Center. However, they did not come with this really, really cool box. So they've got like bride and groom Pikachus. There's the groom. Here's the bride right here. Like what an awesome wedding gift that would be for somebody. Like those are so cool. Wow, we were talking about how big the box is, and I don't think I can justify it. Yeah, I don't know how this is going to fit a suitcase. That's, yeah, that's massive. This one was stocked with plushies, and they actually had multiple stores for Pokemon Go, the regular Pokemon Center, and also a Pikachu Sweets Cafe. This store also had some really cool exclusive pins that have Maridon on them. If you go to this store specifically, make sure you snag the special pin because you cannot get it at any other store. There's actually a total of 16 different Pokemon Centers around Japan, five of them being in the Tokyo area, so if you're planning to visit Tokyo, you can also stop by the Pokemon Center Tokyo DX, Pokemon Center Sky Tree, Pokemon Center Tokyo Bay, and as an added bonus, the Tokyo Station Pokemon Store. We didn't get a chance to cover these in today's video, but definitely gonna try to stop by on my next visit to Japan. There were seriously so many Pokemon stores here, it was crazy. Before leaving the mall, we made sure to stop by the Pikachu Sweets Cafe, which is a takeaway treats cafe that has a wide array of Pokemon themed drinks and desserts, plus they also have exclusive merch. I snagged the three Pikachu Sweets exclusive plushies, plus a Poltegeist tea and an Al Creme ice cream. Here we go, the little Al Creme ice cream with the frozen raspberries. Mm. Good. This is a pro play right here, all right? We got the Al Creme ice cream. We got the Pulte Ice tea. But what if we put the ice cream into the tea to make a little like float? It's really good. It's really good. And then after we're done with our sweet treat, we put it in a Garbodor trash can. Okay, goodbye. 
Also, I'd like to give a huge thank you to the Pokemon Company for taking us to the Pokemon Center Shibuya and Mega Tokyo, as well as the Pikachu Sweets Cafe during our stay during the week of the World Championship. So I actually ended up going to the Pikachu Sweets Cafe more than once, and I got even more goodies to try, including an iced Pikachu mocha and a Pikachu waffle. Mmm, that's very good. Sweet. Next, we're heading to Osaka on the Shinkansen bullet train, going a casual 320 kilometers an hour. Oh my goodness. I know this footage looks speeded up, but this is the regular speed the train is going really fast. <laughs> and let me just say, these areas are completely crowded with people. I am genuinely surprised by just the sheer number of people and how large the shopping centers are at the multiple cities that we stopped by in Japan. Pokemon Center Osaka has the iconic Karaidon statue out front, and we arrived just in time for Pokemon Go Fest Osaka, which means that the Pokemon centers in town are going to be absolutely packed. Oh my goodness, look at the little starter cookies! Oh, I kind of want that little key, that's really cute. <laughs> what the heck? Okay, we're just walking around. We're in a step Hello. of anime. Hey, Carlos, how's it going? We you already. Oh my god. Official Glaceon Hall, and I mean, also a belly bolt towel. Dude, who doesn't want a towel that's a belly bolt right that's now? That's so precious. But, so, I have like 20 Glaceons at home, but this one is fuzzy. You can probably it's even so see it on, on camera. Yeah, but look at that texture. So fuzzy. This one, which is a sitting one, but it's not the same size as the one that I currently have with me, so I need to Oh one my goodness. A size. Dude, I didn't realize you were such a Glaceon oh, I'm, fan. I'm a, Added. Good luck on the rest of your haul. Oh, yes, you too. Thanks. We, hauls, yes. like, <laughs> we will. Oh, you got him. I'm so happy for you. I'm happy too. What is it? It's a little statue with Shedinja on it. It's so cute. And Dusko. Oh, these are so cute. Oh, my goodness. Oh, look at the fluffy Muta Sleepy. Oh, my goodness. The sleepy ones. Oh, they're so cute. Oh, I really like this one. I might have to get this little man. There's so many of my son. Dude, this is a different one? Are you kidding me? Oh, why would they do this? He's so cute. I think the sleeping one is cuter. I think we did okay. Oh my goodness. Hi, buddy. I picked up a few items that I didn't see at the other Pokemon centers, and I thought this fluffy Mew was so cute. Oh. What's going on over here, gentlemen? Jeez. Which one did you get? Oh yeah, Venusaur. Whoa, hi! <laughs> How's it going? Congratulations. Thank I want to do this. How That's much was it? it? Uh, 200. Oh! I haven't seen one of these in forever. It's a coin pressing machine. So you put in 200 yen and it spits out one of these three coins. That's so cool! There's another one next to it but it's out of order. Kind of cool to see too. This one oh, that one had the starters on it. How cool. Also, I wanted to thank Real Breaking Nate, Basically Marie, Unlisted Leaf, Serenata Chenny, Jordan Fringe, and Bear Walker, my friend group that I traveled all around Japan with. They made this trip truly amazing, and you'll see clips from them randomly throughout the journey. But I wanted to make sure I shouted them out, y'all. Be sure to check out their social media pages for even more videos from Japan and the Pokemon World Championships. It's time to commence. Getting the stamped sheets. This is really exciting here, folks. Boom! The next day, we made our way to Pokemon Center Osaka DX, which has the absolutely incredible legendary bird statues in the front. This store is iconic, and it was also completely packed because, once again, Pokemon Go Fest is happening this same weekend. Bro, I have to. These are so cute. The babies. And look at these. Pokemon Center 25th. You've got the three starters right there. I love it. Some sleeping Gengars over here. Sleeping Piplup. These are so cute. And sleeping Psyducks. You think I should take this to Nate too? I keep finding all the Psyducks. I think so. You're doing these Okay. Yeah, really. I know exactly where this little guy is going. Hey, Nate. Yeah. Me right now. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Look at the baby. Look at him. Yeah, you need him. him. 
get it, right? You need him. Quack, quack. Look at this world's merch. Look at all of these. You got the Fue Coco with the little, little onigiris, little sushi rolls. You got this Brigatito. Where's Quaxley at? Quaxley with the green tea. Oh, these are so cute. These stores are absolutely blowing my mind because we have literally nothing like this in the States. Aside from the pop-up Pokemon centers that happen for nationals or worlds. Oh my goodness. Like there's so much Pokemon all around Japan. It is actually shocking. We've seen these old made cards at some of the other Pokemon centers. I have not seen these yet. I don't know if they're the same thing. It says super high tension Pokemon Babanuki. So I may have to get one of these as well, just so that we have a nice little set of the red and the blue one. Oh my goodness. This one has, I think, a greater selection than any of the ones we've seen as far as like different variety. Cause I don't remember them having like this many different types of chopsticks or spoons or anything. Like they just seem to have a lot of cups and a lot of other stuff that some of the other Pokemon centers didn't have at all. All right, this is filling up pretty quick. <laughs> I think I kind of want to go for the Fue Coco socks. And then, oh my gosh. I wonder if these fit. These are so cool. This I think is fate because I just looked up the conversion of the shoe size and this is my exact shoe size and it's the only one they have and they have two of them. That's amazing. This has got to be like the most packed Pokemon Center we've come to. This is crazy. I, gotta, I lost my friends. I got to find them. I got a full bag. We're doing good, everybody. So, hey, what do you, what do you think of my cool new shoes, huh? I like those. Oh, the ones on my feet? Yeah. These are nice. I, I was talking about these ones. Oh, I mean, those are shoes. Those are oh, slide what do you think of my, my Pokemon slides? Oh, nice. Nice. Is that the reaction you wanted? To no, it's one? not. Oh, it's not okay. what I wanted. Oh, okay. I wanted you to react how you normally do react. Do hey, what do you think oh. of my foot? <laughs> okay, we're on that last yeah. pack magic. I saw a glimmer of some hollow. You got a little something something. Please be the Charizard. Let's get that Charizard. Oh, 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 oh. Yo! <laughs> Dude. <laughs> that was awesome! <laughs> I feel like we've been in line for a while, but it's snaked so far around. We still got all of this to go through. This is like Disneyland. What was your biggest pickup of the day? I'm honestly, I'm really excited about this fan. Really? <laughs> yeah, you guys have been wanting that fan. I want to start using it like ASAP as soon as we get out of here. Yeah, you gotta fill it up. You fill it with sparkling water, like That's you said. What I'm playing on. Sparkling I get all water. Spritz in the mouth. At the yeah. Same time. Oh my gosh. I also finally picked up the Pokemon Go Plus Plus to play Pokemon Go and Pokemon Sleep, and it came with this really cool Snorlax tray. There's also a Pokemon Cafe on this same floor, which we definitely did try to get a reservation at, but we were unsuccessful. The booking process was like a 30 day in advance situation and we tried literally for weeks like the entire duration of our trip to try to get one reservation at this place however they did have a little shopping area in front of the cafe and we picked up a few of these super cute pokemon cafe exclusive plushies which were actually different than the pikachu sweets cafe plushes i don't have a problem you're the one with the problem so far my luggage is mostly chef pikachus after a super fun weekend of exploring we spent a day in kyoto before heading to the world championships in yokohama this city was actually my favorite on the entire trip and i wish i had more time here kyoto Kyoto was once the capital of Japan, so it has a ton of interesting history and lots to explore. This Pokemon Center theme features Ho-Oh and Lugia, which is super fitting for the city filled with shrines and towers, and these statues are so impressive. Oh my goodness. Oh, hi. We haven't seen these at any of the Pokemon Centers yet. This is a fragrance bookmark. I guess it's a, a nice smelling bookmark. That looks pretty cool. Oh, these are awesome. So you've got some fans here. I believe a kimono, some really awesome Pokemon fabric with Pikachus on it. Now we've got Pikachu, Pokeball, all sorts of stuff. Wow, and then we got the, the three starters right here, the three newest starters. How cool, a Pokemon Center 25th. There's a lot of noise being made. I think there's an arcade over there if you can hear it. Wow, check him out. Another wall of plushies. Just get lost in the sea of plush toys. Still on the hunt for a Growlithe Pokemon fit. You're coming home with me. Got our extensive wall of Pokemon foods. Oh, these are super cute. Here's the thing. I kind of just want one of these for the art. I wonder how the noodles taste. Oh, how cool. And this one as well has multiple signatures on it. I, of course, recognize Junichi Masuda's. But this is so awesome. They've got these Pokemon storybooks here that are just basically like children's books. But the art looks so cool on those. Look at that. Yo, 
We got Chikorita up top over here, and then there's actually an area for learning to play the Pokemon card game, which I think is really cool. I haven't seen this at the other ones, but it might have just been in like a different part of the mall. So really cool that it's inside of here. And there's so, so many different items, ton of plush toys, a lot of everything. Most of it we have seen before, but there is some things that are, are new to this one as well. All right, got my goods. We're waiting in line right now. Kind of snaking around. This one's a lot shorter than the Osaka one though, which is great. One of the items that I really enjoyed seeing at these Pokemon centers is the B-Side label collab. They generally had a sticker for each of the original 151 Pokemon, plus a few of them with multiple Pokemon on each sticker or even large versions of those same designs. They're all so well done. I just really appreciated the art on these stickers and I definitely picked up my fair share of them. Also, if you're planning a trip to Japan and wanna see the full list of all 16 Pokemon centers, I'll list them out in the description so that maybe you can stop by one on your next adventure. Honestly, it would be such a dream to return to Japan and hit all 16 16 of them next time. So let me know what you thought of this video and if you want to see the rest of the stores in a future video. It has begun. Are you ready? Look at all these signs. Hey, are you here for the World Championships? I'm here? Yeah. Well, right. I'm in the train station at the moment. Yeah. No, but the World Championships aren't being held here. What, what, are you, what are you talking about? No, no. I'm here for the World Championships, but they're not being held here. The, it's, like, there's right literally here. like ads. Are oh, you saying in the train station? Right, 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 right. So the World Championships is being held in Yokohama, just not just right Just not in the train literally station. Here. Okay, you know what, well, I, that makes sense. I don't, know, uh, if, if, I don't know if it says that it's being, not being held here or not. It says not being held at the Yokohama train station, actually being held at, at the Pacific Pacifico yeah. in Yokohama. That right. makes sense. No, it, it does make sense. Seriously though, the Yokohama train station was completely decked out with Pokemon World Championship ads. Woo. Now for the last stop on our tour, the Pokemon World Championships in Yokohama, Japan. I wanna give a huge thank you to the Pokemon company for inviting me to World with a media pass and hosting my stay during my week in Yokohama. And they also gave us a special media hour just for us to film the Pokemon Center. I wanted to share a few really sick World Championships exclusive items that Pokemon has gifted to their Pokemon partners. And I'm seriously so appreciative of this. I thought it was so cool and this was so kind of them. We have no idea what's inside. We figured let's do this together. This is so exciting. Right. Thank you, Pokemon. Yeah, so no, thank you, a big thank you to Pokemon yeah. Company International for, for gifting us this, this free merch. Yeah, this bad boy too. Backpack. So I think, I there's, think there's something, something in Yeah, here. there's something inside we'll, of here. We'll save this for the grand finale. This is amazing. Look, Pikachu eating a little bowl of ramen. I love this. Yeah, this is the little, the mascot for yeah. Worlds this year is a ramen Pikachu. We got the 3DS case right here. 3DS? Or <laughs> Nintendo Switch, my guy. <laughs> I've had 3DS on my yeah. We got chopsticks. <gasps> we know oh, it's no, the folding fan. fan. Oh. <laughs> Look at that. I love it. Oh, that's nice. That gets, I got Ruled notebook, yeah. but it's it's the long way. Ruled I got notebook, uh, the long I got bag way. charms over here, Pikachu and Sprigatito. Oh, how cute is there? I wonder if you had the same one. Oh wait, 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 wait. Oh yeah, dig in there. Dig oh, in there. Oh, boy, Coco. Oh. We got all the little charms. We got sleeves. Oh! oh what is this? Yeah. I got rolled cookie tin. Bam, 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 bam. There's a teacup with. Oh, look at this. So you obviously, you know, Pikachu, all the starters on it as well. Bombardier is on it, Munchlax. We got Farfetch. In addition to that, in like the same kind of style box, there is a ramen bowl. It's got the starter Pokemon on it and Pikachu as well, and a Fido. In a Munchlax. Oh, I got a lot of change. I got a lot of change, a lot of coins. I could be putting in this one right here. You got the pencil case. Oh, that's for like, uh, what, pencils? Yeah, probably. Okay. Yeah, probably. Yeah, you can put whatever you want in here, oh, actually. Hang on. Yeah, washi tape. <gasps> oh! <laughs> Look at that, washi tape right here. I think this is the first time the Pokemon World Championships has ever had exclusive washi tape. Wait, yeah, this is sick. With the pins right here. You say pins or pens? Pins. Ha, pens. Uh, Nate, I'm overwhelmed. Uh, we got I'm overwhelmed. A figure. Oh no, chopstick rest. Ooh. Chopstick, oh, Sprigatito chopstick rest. A chop, wait, wait, wait. You know what we go good with the chopstick rest? Oh, yes, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, what, what? Do you get chopsticks? Oh. Oh, we got different chopsticks. Do we really? Oh, wow. hey, mine are okay. cooler. Mine are cooler. No, because I got I got more hey, Pokemon. But you yeah, but got I got Pikachu. Pikachu with ramen. And yeah. you know what Pikachu is? Look at this. I got, ramen. I got Pikachu ramen and other Pokemon. So I got Sprigatito, oh. Foy, Coco, and Quaxley. Hey, what? Ooh, look at this. We got a bib. That's not a bib. That's a, a hand towel. 
I, I probably could use it a bit though. Yeah, when right. you're eating your ramen with your chopsticks. Yeah. Yeah. I think there's a lunch box. It's a bento box. It's a bento right? box. Right? Is that a bento box? Oh, Last couple items in wrapping here. Wrapping cloth. This is cool. What is, it, what, what is technically a wrapping cloth? So oh! Your bento box. Oh! Keep all of our important notes in there. So it's kind of like that little folder. You remember when we checked out of that hotel in Kyoto? Mm -hmm. They uh, they put like our receipt in that like little folder. Yeah. That's like the same thing. Okay. Like this is a reusable tote bag with Evie on it. It's really nice. Oh, two different two different oh, uh, arts on yeah. both sides. So that there was something in the backpack. I think there's some. It feels like there's something in there. Okay. Water <gasps> bottle right here. Is that nice? It's black and then it's got the logo on it. Very, very oh, nice. Oh, that's so sick. Got a cool hat. Pikachu, ramen bowl. You got a hat? Socks. I, you know oh, what? Yeah, I yeah, needed yeah. some socks. It's just so many socks. Oh. You know what, honestly? <laughs> There's so many socks. I needed some because I'm running out of the socks that I brought. I know, I'm too, this will be perfect. <laughs> we have the magnet. We got a magnet, you got stickers. Oh, there we go, we got the this lanyard. Is, everything is so branded. If you was to pick one item that's your absolute favorite, you can't pick the backpack. Oh, because I probably would pick the yeah, backpack. Yeah, we both pick the backpack. So, um, out of everything, what what do you think? Uh, which item do you think is your favorite? Oh man, that's tough. Okay. Wait. <laughs> chopsticks. <laughs> this was yeah. This is what I. Thinking. All right, chopsticks. And I was gonna say the second place was ramen bowl. Yeah, 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 yeah. I think because the World Championships is in Yokohama, it's in Japan. Yeah. These are some iconic Japanese items for yeah, Japanese it's, cuisine. It's part of the culture. It's so. yeah, it really is. This is. What an awesome care package! I can't wait to see what the full store looks like. I'm super excited to be able to share all of our footage from the World Championships. I've also got another video dropping this weekend that will showcase so much fun stuff that happened at Worlds. So stay tuned for that. For today's video, we're just gonna be focusing specifically on the World Championships pop-up Pokemon Center. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. <laughs> We're waiting to get into the Pokemon Center now. We're here for the preview media hour. Oh yeah. So hopefully all this stuff will be like in its natural habitat undisturbed. What are you looking for? Uh, the deck board. Hey, I think, uh, Skateboard. Yeah. Skateboard? All, all three of us, I think, are on the same thing. The chopstick holder thing. Chopstick holder? Yeah. Right after the skateboard. Yeah, that's it. That's it. After the skateboard. After the skateboard. Skateboard has to be the skateboard. Okay, what are you looking for out of the Pokemon Center? Um, the Pokemon, the Pikachu ramen. Okay. Ramen bowl? The ramen. It's the Pikachu. Oh, with the plush. Yeah, it's so cute. And like, announced it like last night, and I was like, well. Um, I'm just going to grab everything, throw it in the cart. It's going to be amazing. Everything in eyesight. Got it. Oh my goodness. Look at it. Here's a Pokemon Center logo at the top. Oh, okay. Items, so you get uh, one ticket for. You were able to pick out tickets for very specific items that were highly sought after in the Pokemon Center, so you could get those at the end of your shopping trip when you went to check out. Thank you. The Pokemon World Championships Yokohama exclusive Bear Walker skateboard is limited to 500 boards, and it's the number one item on my list, so I need to go straight for that. And there it is. Look at how amazing this display is. This skateboard is seriously incredible. I'm so happy we got one. That's really cute. So we've got the world's figurines, Flake Coco and Quaxley over here. Look at them. Oh my goodness, look at the little man with his little sushi. So Quaxley's got some matcha, some green tea right there. I think that's really, really cute. And Sprigatito over here, I believe has a little dessert. Oh my goodness. Wow, so this place is fully stacked. Also, I picked up a Pikachu with ramen plush for one lucky viewer in today's stream. So if you'd like a chance to win this exclusive World Championships item, make sure you're subscribed, drop a like on this video, and make sure to leave a comment in the comment section below letting me know what your favorite Pokemon Center was or what your favorite item was from the World Championships drop. Oh, okay, we got some little stickers. We got a notebook. Looks like maybe like a little folder down here. We got their whole collection of backpacks here. These are amazing backpacks. So this was one of the items that I also really, really wanted. It is the World Championships jacket. I think these are super cool. Sleeves look really nice. Of course, you've got Pikachu right there. There's also another version of the shirt. And now I'm torn on which one I want to get. Actually, like a fair amount of English Pokemon TCG products. I think that's kind of interesting because we are in Japan. So a lot of different promo boxes. Some stuff that I definitely did not expect to see in these displays. <laughs> oh, we found them. The Pokemon. Pokemon World's exclusive chopsticks and the ramen bowl. 
Look at how nice that is. And the Tatsugiri chopstick holders. Oh my goodness. Oh, we've got all the Team Rocket merch here as well. So this dropped on the Pokemon Center. This is not Worlds exclusive, but they have the Team Rocket skateboards. Uh, so multiple Bearwalker skateboards here. I think that's pretty neat with just the big old R right there. You got the shirts with the big old R on them. You got some hats, a whole lot of stuff. If you're a Team Rocket fan, I think most of this is still in stock on the Pokemon Center if you don't happen to make it to the World Championships. Whoa. This is just never ending. This is huge. This is by far the largest selection of Pokemon World Championships items that I have ever seen. Oh my gosh, I've been looking everywhere for him. My son. Oh, hi, buddy. Oh, he's yeah, perfect. Yeah. This is a good day. Look at him, look at his little mouth. Why does he look like that? Y'all, they've literally got every single sitting cutie. I thought they just had all of the original Pokemon in sitting cutie. They legit have every single Pokemon. This is on the other side. Through Gen 5. They've got all of them here. Look at this, are you kidding me? So they pretty much got a whole section over here for Lapras and Pikachu, including bins just filled with the Lapras and Pikachu World's Exclusive plush. Check this out. How cool! Here's our haul. Pretty good stuff, Nate. What was the what was the biggest pickup you think? For you? Oh my God, your bag's pretty full too. So we both we both got the skateboard. Skateboard. We got the tickets right here as well. You got tickets. Yes, I got tickets. They're actually buried at the bottom of my bag, so they're gonna get to them at the very end. They had so much cool merch. Let me know which item from the World Pop Up Pokemon Center was your favorite. Also, while the World's Pokemon Center is temporary, they do also have a Pokemon Center in Yokohama, which we unfortunately didn't have time to stop by, which I think is crazy. We were doing so much cool Pokemon stuff that we didn't get to stop by the regular Pokemon stuff that's normally there. This is ridiculous. I guess I gotta come back. <laughs> okay, I made it back from Japan, and let me tell you, we have quite the haul to show off, so I figured we'd start off with our regular Pokemon Center item. Items. And then if you can see back here, all of this is Pokemon World Championships exclusive merch. So we're gonna take a look at that here in a second, but we'll go ahead and start with the first set of the six Pokemon centers that we checked out. Some of the items that I thought were so cute was the line of Mochi Mochi plushes. We've got the Snorlax, the Psyduck, and the Pikachu. Look, look at their little limbs. And also, I don't know what's going on with Pikachu's legs. Why do they do them like that? We also got the Sleeping Slowpoke from Pokemon Sleep. He's my new best friend. Like you saw in our video, we stopped by the Pikachu Sweets Cafe along with the Pokemon Cafe. And these are the three exclusive Pikachus from the Pokemon Cafe, which are actually different than the three exclusive Pikachus from the Pikachu Sweets Cafe. Look at these. I love these plushes so much. I came home with an extra six Pikachus that I didn't know I needed until now. I also snagged a whole bunch of sitting cuties. Like, once I got home, I didn't think I got this many, but I did. I don't know if there's a good way to show them all, but <laughs> here they are. <laughs> and here's the rest. I also got Snoozing Dragonite, a really cool Mareep duster. Like legit, I thought this was such a unique item. I can dust my whole studio with Marie. Plus a series of smaller items, including a few different card sleeves, some Pikachu seasoning. Look at that, I don't know what flavor it is, but I'm excited to try it. <laughs> Pikachu and Jigglypuff ramen. A Lapras toothbrush holder, of course. Y'all saw me raving about this, I couldn't not get it. And then I also got the cute little Foy Coco. I thought this was too cute to pass up. In addition to that, Literally the shoes that I'm currently wearing, the Pokemon slides. I already broke them in as soon as I got to the hotel. But now let's go ahead and take a look at all of our world's exclusive merch. There's kind of a lot of it, so I'm gonna go ahead and showcase some of my favorite items, maybe some that we didn't show earlier in the video. So here is our full selection of Pokemon World Championships merch from the Yokohama 2023 World Championships. Figured I'd just go ahead and show it like this because I kind of laid it all out on this table and I think I did a pretty good job. I'm also losing my voice, oh my goodness. So I figured I'd start with a few of my favorite items from the entire collection, which are the Damage Counter and V-Star Marker kits. Now they had two of these. They had the Ramen Pikachu one along with the, I don't say Sailor Pikachu one, but the one that is more like nautical themed. So we did pick up both of those. In addition to that, they had a very special deck box, which actually comes with an exclusive exclusive World Championships card right there. So here's the front of it here, and then the back has an even better look at that card and some of the other 
credit cards that come inside that deck. So really, really cool deck box. I think it's very rare that they have a product like this that you can purchase that features an exclusive promo card. So I thought that was really awesome. They also had a few different playmat designs, which ours is a little bit covered up here with some of the other stuff, but there's a Pikachu one. There's one that's kind of more themed like this that also still has Pikachu on it. Uh, in addition to that, there's three different types of card sleeves that you could pick up right there, plus a deck box, of course. There's also a few different World Championships pins, including Fight Coco, Sprigatito, Quaxley, and then there's also a Pikachu one. I think mine is actually in the other room. So there were four of those. Also, that same design made its way into multiple pieces of merch, including the plushies that you see here. So we've got the super cute Fight Coco on a little sushi right there. We've got some onigiri in his hands and that he's like standing on a sushi roll. And that was actually surprisingly heavy. There's like, I don't know what's in this that's weighing it down, but there's a heavy boy right there. There's also a really cute Sprigatito right there. Our Pikachu kind of fell over a little bit, but this is also a fan favorite, the Pikachu eating ramen. As you can see in the ramen bowl, there's like little Pikachus and other fun stuff. Little Pikachu tail sticking out there. I love the attention to detail with like all of this stuff. It's really, really well done. We've also got a Quaxley enjoying some matcha tea right there and the Lapras and Pikachu Plus, which I think is the coolest of the plush selection. It's also definitely the largest as well. In addition to that, there was also a few different types of glassware. There was also three different types of bowls, which I thought was really cool. The chopstick rest here. We got a Tatsugiri as well as a Sprigatito chopstick rest to go with our Pikachu chopstick sticks here. There's a bento box. This is a lanyard that has more of the pins on there. A water bottle, which I think we showed off a little bit earlier. Plus a Yokohama World Championships backpack. I was rocking this backpack the entire week of Worlds and beyond. I straight up just shifted all of my stuff that was in my other backpack into this backpack. It's actually incredibly spacious. There's like three different main compartments, including one back here for like a binder or a laptop. Zippers galore, pockets galore. That's a really, really nice backpack. One of my favorite items from this entire collection. They also had four different figures and I picked up all four. They had Foy Coco, Sprigatito, Pikachu, as well as Quaxley. Now, I'm slightly embarrassed to admit this, but I'm gonna say it anyway. While I was in Japan, I actually had to pick up an extra piece of luggage to get all of my Pokemon Center items home. And one of the reasons why is because I wanted to bring home the Bear Walker exclusive Pokemon World Championship skateboard. This was my number one item that I really, really wanted from Worlds and I'm so excited that I got Got it. So Bear Walker, the person who actually makes these skateboards, actually joined us on our trip to Japan. So we got to spend over a week together hanging out, exploring Japan, and definitely going to a lot of Pokemon stores. So I actually had the honor of having Bear Walker sign my skateboard after we recorded our podcast at the Pokemon World Championship. So thank you so much, Bear. This is absolutely incredible. I thought it was super cool. So he autographed it and then also put the number that's on our certificate of authenticity. I got number 165. Out of 500 so they actually limited this skateboard drop to 500 boards and man I cannot wait to hang this up on my wall this is so sick and the last item actually I guess like the last two items that I got are the world championships apparel so I got this really cool Yokohama jersey it's got homeboy Pikachu down here and then on the back it's got a 23 for the year 2023 Woo! excuse me so man, I think this is so clean. I really, really like it. If you watch the World Championships live, Ishihara, the president of the Pokemon company, actually came out wearing this jacket. And I thought that was so cool. I think the design is sick. On the back, it's decked out as well. I don't know why I'm flexing. It's got all the starters on there and Pikachu, just like all the other stuff. Hey, did you go to the Pokemon World Championships or something? Yeah, me too. All right, y'all. Thank you so, so much for joining me on this adventure of seven Pokemon centers in seven days. Definitely let me know which Pokemon Center was your favorite. Let me know which part of our journey you enjoyed the most or which item you thought was the coolest from today's adventure. And definitely stay tuned for some more Pokemon videos coming soon. I have a couple more that I shot in Japan that I cannot wait to share with y'all. So thanks so much for watching and we'll see you in the next one. Bye!